Hey everybody, it's Miss Annie, and I am celebrating Earth Day this week because it is on Wednesday, April 22nd. It is the United States' 50th anniversary of Earth Day. So it uh, first began on April 22nd, 1970, and um, it's the 50th year of it. So that's exciting. I've got on my flower shirt and my flower earrings, and I'm gonna go for a walk with my mask on and far away from people. And one thing that I'm gonna do to celebrate Earth Day is make a flower crown to go with the rest of my accessories. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, and hopefully you can do that too. I'm gonna use flowers that would be really easy to find, hopefully. Um, but I'm gonna post other things about Earth Day too. So if you can't do this, there's lots of ways to celebrate Earth Day. Okay, so I've picked some flowers that I think would be nice in my flower crown. I have some daisies that you can find in a lot of places right now. A lot of them are growing at parks, they're really small. I also have some poppies, but I don't think that those will make the best flower crowns because what we're going to do is um, make knots with the stems. And you see when you bend the stem of a poppy, it kind of breaks a little bit. So they might not be best in our flower crown. Another kind of daisy. I have some lavender. And then I also have some baby sage, which smells amazing and is also beautiful. So that'd be really great to have in it. Okay, so I'm gonna make my Earth Day flower crown out of these daisies that I've been finding everywhere. They have really long stems. There's lots of them. And the stems are also really flexible. So that's what's gonna make a good flower crown. Okay, so to start our crown, we'll just start with a couple flowers. Try and have them have long stems and make sure they're flexible because what we're going to be doing is tying them into knots. So you'll take one stem, make an X towards the top of the flower. Make sure there's some coming over. Loop it under the flower all right and then pull the end of the stem through it's over loop it under and tie it all the way through you want to be gentle so that you don't break the stem all right do it again an X Loop it under and pull it all the way through. All right, and we're just gonna keep doing that. Okay, so I have a pretty long chain here, so I'm gonna end it off. I'm gonna take the stem of the ends and the flower and just do the same thing where I loop it under and through, being very gentle. And there we go, a crown. Okay, now you're ready to celebrate Earth Day at home one way but there's lots of other ways to do it. 